So Sarah, just a couple of years ago, there was three companies that were making solar electric vehicles. Can you name one? Uh, Lightyear. Lightyear from? From the Netherlands. Lightyear from the Netherlands. This was a beautiful, sleek car that had very low rolling resistance, and it was attractive, and they made it all the way into production. Right. And then they cut it short. Right. We'll talk about why and what they did later. Uh, and they then can, shifted gears. They shifted gears. <laughs> nice. So can you name another one? Uh, Sono. Sono, Sono Motors. Motor. Right, from uh, Munich, yep. Munich, Germany. Yes. And remember, we talked to the CEOs right here on this channel. That video's out there if you want to check it out. Yeah. What was it was there? really exciting when we yeah. got to go see the Sono mm -hmm. in Detroit. They were on a like a promotional yeah, tour. Yeah, they went to like five major around cities the around yeah. the U.S., like L.A., New York, Boston, Detroit, Detroit San Francisco, Motor I think City. it was. So I thought that was really cool, cool car. that they came that close and we got to talk with them. They were great. Yeah, uh, Yona and they are probably still Christian. Great. <laughs> yeah, so but they couldn't get the car to production. They got like right there and couldn't so get close. there, and they shifted gears as well. Right. And then the third company, we both know this one, at Terra Motors from Carlsbad. Why are you looking around? Because I feel like there's something behind me, but I guess there's not. Aptera right. Motors from Carlsbad, California. Uh, if you've watched this channel at all, you know quite I a bit. I could name that one. About yeah, you name yeah. <laughs> If you watch this channel, you know quite a bit about Aptera Motors. Yep. And Aptera Motors is about where these other companies were. They're right there on the precipice, just about to start production and trying to raise enough money to get there. Yes. But what makes Aptera different than the other two that had to shift gears? Yeah, why do we think they are not going to have to shift gears? Hope, yeah. Yes. So let's start with, with Lightyear. Now, we're not going to go over what everything that didn't make the business work, but what they ended up doing is realizing they weren't going to be able to sell enough at the price point they were shooting for, which was pretty high. Right. So they shifted to be a company that would just make solar panels automotive grade for other automotive companies. Right. And then there's Sono. Sono was making something very similar to, I would say, the Chevy Bolt EUV. Yeah. So a real practical, usable vehicle that was covered in custom-made solar panels. Yeah, I and mean, they put they, them on it, the doors, in, yeah. on the back, on the front, on the hood. Yeah, the solar panels yeah. actually made up part of the outside of the car. Was it wasn't going to be available in other colors because this was all... Yeah. A formed piece that included the solar panels it was really fascinating. And we really liked the car, uh, mm -hmm. having sat in it, checked it out, talked to the the founders and the CEO. We thought it was a great car, but it but it didn't make it. And they shifted gears. I guess what they're doing. See if you can guess in the comments. Go ahead before I say it. They're now making solar panels for other automotive companies. So both of them now are direct competitors to Aptera in that segment of Aptera Motors business. That is right. outsourcing their solar tech to other companies like right. Aptera has already done for airport gear, for uh, camping mm -hmm. gear, and now for the Tello truck. So uh, that's what they did. So how do we know that Aptera isn't going to have to just jump all the way in that way? Well, we don't know the future. Of course we don't. But here's a couple of reasons we think Aptera is different enough to make it over the finish line. Sarah, you want to start? With Lightyear and with Sono, both started out where they wanted to find a way to integrate solar in a vehicle and their model I think in executing that I mean it was there was a lot of really awesome science that that was figured out between both of them uh, but they ultimately wanted to take a car like we think of as a car and have it have solar panels. Yeah, it seems like they thought it would have to be a four-door car. It would have to four look... Four-wheel car. Four-wheel car would have mm -hmm. to look like a car. Yeah. Uh, and then, but it had to have solar. Solar was their main key. Right. So Aptera is different. Aptera did not start out with the idea of making a solar-powered car. Their idea, their one thought, their target was always to be the most efficient electric vehicle on the planet. Right. And that's why you have the shape you have, that really cool curvy shape. That is the most aerodynamic shape that you can imagine. Right. That's light right. and efficient. So you They're have lightweight, efficient. you have um, super uh, aerodynamic, and then why not make it a three-wheeler because a three-wheeler has less rolling resistance, less, mm -hmm. you know, less friction on the road, simple right. as that. And they started there and found out that, wait a minute, if we add solar to this, we'll actually get usable miles, like 40 miles a day maybe, in good weather. So that's the difference of Aptera. Right. They chose a form based on their one goal of being efficient, 
Solar came into the picture when it was obvious that it would make a real difference, not be a gimmick, but make a real difference. And three wheels led to lower uh, resistance, but what else did it lead to? Aptera is working in, not in the automotive car category. So they don't have to meet, even though they're including a lot of safety things, they don't have to meet the safety standards for a four wheel vehicle. They're technically an auto cycle because it's only three wheels. And so that gives them a lot of room to do some really innovative things that you might not be able to do, right. couldn't do if you were making a four wheel sedan or coupe. Exactly, and they're building it so with less regulation and a whole lot less pieces to put this together, right. puts Aptera in a better space to get to production. Now, just a quick side note, just because there's less regulation doesn't mean it's less safe. It has amazing crush resistance. Uh, because of the shape of it, like an egg almost. And also they're putting airbags for driver and passenger, which is not a requirement right. in the vehicle they're building. They're putting a roll cage, also right. not a requirement. Right, no and motorcycles You don't see motorcycles you see or roll cages. Have roll cages. Or but... airbags that push you off the thing <laughs> and back into the wall. <laughs> that would not be practical. <laughs> so that's why we think Aptera is different enough to make it. But yeah. what can you and I do, Sarah? What, what can we do as just people that want this vehicle on the road? What can we do to help them get over the finish line into mass production. Yeah, because we want to help yeah. on, on the ground floor. So one thing is we can promote it. We promote can it. talk about it. We can yeah. do videos make, like this. Yeah, you post, can do videos like post this. Post on social media, make videos. Yeah. You can pre-order one yep. because that gives them an idea of how many people want it. It's like 100 bucks or 70 bucks if you use somebody's code that already pre-ordered. Right. Uh, you can invest if you choose. We don't give that advice, but this is a crowdfunding campaign. Yeah, it's a, neat, it's a neat opportunity. Should you choose to do a talk to your financial advisor, get their advice because we are not that and we can't Don't that. talk to them. They'll just say no. But think about <laughs> it. Do what you want to do. Uh, <laughs> do what you think is right. Do what you think is right. You might remember Sarah Hardwick was a part of this company who's a marketing genius, and she helped them raise over $130 million or something like that in crowdfunding, crowdfunding. alone. That tells yeah. me and Sarah that there's a lot more Chan Sears out there. Yeah. And if you're already promoting that Tara some way, put in the comments what you're doing to push it along. You know what we do. We make videos. We talk to people. We promote other people's videos. Often we'll just post other people's videos mm -hmm. because they're excellent and they're, and they're good to, yeah. to do. And not just videos. Um, poetry, memes. Oh yeah, Bob, Bob Michel, Michel, right? He right. has books published that you mm -hmm. can get on Amazon that feature Aptera and Aptera related prose because it's inspiring. It's inspiring. Yeah. So do what you can, we'll do what we can. Let us know in the comments what you're doing. Everybody have an excellent night, whatever night it is where you're at. Stay and, uh, warm and safe. Yeah, thank you to the members of the channel because you keep the wheels churning on the Positively Charged YouTube channel. It we means appreciate so much you to so us. much. Thank you again, Norman, for the recent thank super you. chat. That was very kind of you. Yes. And Bob Newchow for the coffee you recently yes. bought us. Thank you. Sarah's the only one that drinks coffee, Bob. But I drink a lot of it. But she it. drinks a lot of it. <laughs> I drink enough for yeah. the both of us. <laughs> Here's another video right there. Check it out. Have a great day. Thanks for being here. Thumbs up, subscribe, all that stuff. Hey, thumbs up to you. You guys haven't gotten a thumbs up in a while. Thumbs up.